Okay, thanks. Um, next up we have Mike Stewart, who is going to introduce us to the Intel compiler on Edison, and maybe mention anything that might be different between the, the hopper and the <coughs> Edison environment with Intel even. I don't know if you had anything in there. Well, yes, that's actually probably the prime, okay. despite these various titles here, which we, uh, uh, we, got, we were coming up with this before we got Edison, so we had a, we were just thinking, well, what were we going to call this? This is basically the Edison programming environment and uh, differences with Hopper, and as a matter of fact, that you end up talking mostly about Intel because there really aren't many differences with the other uh, two compiling environments. Before I give you the introduction, I'll give you the caveats. This is not, uh, this, the uh, Edison programming environment is a moving target. Uh, it's, we have a lot of requests in to Cray, as uh, you've probably heard, to, uh, uh, to uh, make it easier to use for, we have a lot of requests for changes <coughs> and such. All this does is describe how you compile, link, and run codes now, and uh, how it's different from on Hopper. And it say there may be major changes to this environment by the time uh, we accept this system. And we'll, we'll uh, keep everything up to date <coughs> in the uh, Edison uh, web pages about our current recommendations. Okay, well, here's going to be the basic structure of the talk. I'm going to talk about, well, mostly the differences. Who cares about the similarities between Edison and the compiling environment as it, uh, uh, as it impacts a programmer and a code runner, since uh, uh, that's what my experience has been. Then I'll talk a little bit in more detail about the Edison Intel programming environment, which is quite different from uh, uh, the way it is on uh, Hopper and from the other two. Talk a little bit about porting from PGI on Hopper to Intel on Edison, and uh, since PGI is going to be gone. And I'll uh, talk a bit about some uh, performance I got on the various benchmarks that I run on, on the system. These are the same benchmarks I run on all of our systems. Okay, you log on to the system and you start your compiling and running and stuff, and here's the differences, differences you will notice. Um, Edison supports three compilers, three programming environments. Intel, which is the default, differently from, uh, 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 from uh, Hopper and as and Franklin, Cray, and GNU. Our uh, PGI and PathScale compilers are uh, will not be installed on the system. I didn't think anybody was using PathScale, but I got a request right today f uh, from somebody who wanted us to port the PathScale uh, 5.0 beta compiler to uh, Hopper. So, so there are people out there who still use it. GNU and Cray significantly, I think in the long run this may be one of the most significant differences, use LibSci by default for math library routines. As we, as they said in the previous uh, talk, you, you can use MKL with either of them. I haven't done that yet and uh, ultimately we'll, prob we'll set up probably, if Cray doesn't do it for us, we'll probably set up a module to, uh, uh, to uh, allow you to link with, uh, with MKL as we do on uh, on the uh, uh, Carver, our uh, our cluster, uh, Intel uses MKL by default, and uh, LibSci isn't available for Intel at least at this time on on this system. And uh, we recommend people use minus MKL e equals cluster at least right now as a, a load flag. Though, um, did you say that it should be a, a compiler flag too, or do we just need it to load time? No. Just load, yeah. I think we said it's a load flag that the oh, then, compiler yeah. understands. Yeah, that's right. It's st uh, so it's just a load flag, so I don't need to correct that. Um, another note thing you you will notice, though, uh, it's actually not uh, Edison specific, is that uh, Cray has changed the name of uh, several of the uh, uh, libraries that they provide, like NetCDF and HDF. Uh, they have now they're pre prefixed with a Cray dash, Cray dash NetCDF. This actually uh, exists on Hopper as well, and it's part of a long-term policy of Cray to change, to replace those, the original names with the uh, Cray names, but uh, they, uh, it's, it's supported uh, uh, legacy still on Hopper. Eventually they'll go away and you can only use the Cray dash ones, but it makes sense not to start with uh, the old-fashioned names on Edison. 
And as we have spoke quite a bit in the previous uh, uh, talk, the Intel OpenMP and the hybrid MPI OpenMP runtime environment environments do not work, or rather they do not work efficiently by default at this time. And this, we're sort of putting this here, and maybe uh, Cray will fix this for us. And uh, we'll uh, give the workarounds provided by Zhang Ji and Helen uh, later in this talk. Oh, oh okay. How <coughs> come you're supposed to move? Oh, there. <coughs> okay, Edison Math Libraries. Uh, GNU and uh, Cray Math Libraries, the same as on Hopper. It's the old tried and true Cray Lib site, been around forever. No, and again, on Hopper, as, as it was on Franklin, no <coughs> special flags are needed. Everything links automatically. Intel uses the, uh, uh, the MKL math library. And again, as I just mentioned for the side, my MKL equals cluster as flag at link time to load it. Um, LibSci is currently not available for the Intel compiler. Currently, maybe it never will be, but uh, uh, at this point, you can't use LibSci for it. It, as it, it is the default library on uh, Hopper. Okay, here's the, the details on the Cray uh, uh, module name changes. And oh, the two significant things down are there at uh, bullets five and six, or sub bullets five and six. There are two Cray modules that are not yet available uh, for the Intel compilers the PETC and the Tri Linux. Um, but that presumably will be uh, soon, I hope. And you can use these names in your hopper make, fi make files for the modules because they already it, the names are already exist the modules already exist under those names on hopper so converting from PGI to Intel um, the uh, these are the flags and the equivalents for th things people use uh, pretty frequently um, thing to really to talk about, and I'm going to talk about the next slide on that, is what is the recommended flag to produce well-optimized code in general? In PGI, it's uh, minus fast. Intel, it's minus fast with this other. This is something I've just discovered myself just in the past couple of days, that this produces the best well-optimized code at runtime as well as minimizing the uh, compile time. Minus fast, but with minus no dash IPO uh, with it. If you just do minus fast, there are problems with it that I will talk about. So, and Mike, so I'll ask you and, and Nathan, are there codes, well-known codes you know of that benefit significantly from, from IPO optimizations? I don't know, but I have none, none of the ones we have. It's a C++ thing, usually, because mm -hmm. it's for templates, so it pulls everything and optimizes yeah. across. We don't have, we, unfortunately, we don't have many good C++ benchmarks. And I, I've certainly seen it happen even on Fortran, but it, it's, it's like something where they have a function call or they have a subroutine that call that's in the middle of a loop. And it was like, oh, well, we could rewrite that loop or we could do <coughs> this. Or, or, or you could just target it, you know, because you'll know where that is rather than have it spread o over uh, yeah. all of creation. Yeah. And and it, exactly, I I even wrote a a, a a benchmark once that intentionally had a call in the middle of a loop. And I did it for programming reasons, but then I I just did a, a, a inline there. So it happens, but uh, is there a compiler directive that you could? There's a Cray compiler directive yeah. to to say inline this and to say never inline this. Mm -hmm. Okay, fast option, and uh, they're very different between the two compilers. Fast is, uh, to quote uh, the man page, a generally optimal set of options chosen for targets that support SSE capability. It's, it's fast, but it's not a really, doesn't do a lot of very big analysis, and it's, well, it's basically, used to be called fast SSE. At one time they were thinking about keeping those two things separate, but they, they uh, at least for years, they, 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 they're, they're, they're the same thing. Intel, it includes a lot of uh, optimizations. 
but most significantly it, it includes, as we were just talking about, interprocedural optimization, which can increase compile time by an order of magnitude or cause it to fail. An order of magnitude, uh, GTC, if you uh, compile it with minus fast, uh, and uh, it, it will literally take an order of magnitude longer than it would if you just ordered, compile it with the default optimization or if you compile it with minus fast, minus no IPO. So, and, and, and it does, you do see it fail because it, Intel seems to have a hard time keeping where all of the uh, uh, routines are, particularly if you're in complicated make files using different directories. And I have seen it just say, oh, I, we can't find this .ipo or whatever the uh, uh, stuff that you stick in. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, I, I had, I've always run my benchmarks against fast, and before it, I just sort of ignored it because on Hopper it doesn't do significantly better than the default, in fact, it often as not does worse. But I found to my sh shock that when I was running benchmarks on uh, Edison, the fast, for many benchmarks, particularly the larger benchmarks, it was producing uh, a faster running code than the uh, Hopper uh, recommendation, which is the default. So I, I didn't want, I, was, I had very cold feet for the reasons of, uh, about uh, ordering, about just recommending minus fast, but I, th I thought, well, let me do fast so I'll get everything except IPO. And so when I did that, I found that not only did it compile reasonably quickly, comparable to what, what it was, uh, the compile time when you use the default, but in, in pretty much every case, uh, the code it pr produced it ran just as fast as the uh, one with the IPO fast. So that's my recommendation for users. If you want a fast, uh, high level of optimization, I would recommend minus fast, minus no IPO uh, over uh, the, the Hopper recommendation, the default on Edison. And as I was just mentioning, there's no significant improvement to uh, minus fast order, minus fast no IPO over the default on Hopper. I, I ran my benchmarks again on Hopper just to double check this. Does an executable carry evidence of the flags that were used to compile it? I don't think so. I've never been able to, uh, you know, you look at strings and stuff. We, with the we can call something about this discussion, but now I don't remember the details. And I don't remember which compiler. Maybe it's some compilers you could. I would suspect the I IBM, you could IBM, do that. IBM, I think there was another. Yeah, I think that's what I'm thinking of. IBM is very elegantly laid out and uh, a very modular set of compilers, so it would not surprise me. In fact, you would use, it, it, compi it called a separate program if you, uh, uh, use some optimizations that uh, uh, you w it would just go and uh, 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 rather than having one big chunk compiler, it was, it was extremely modular compiler. You could build was, bits and pieces of it. was the, the IBM compilers, yeah. I remember that. I remember that from Blue Waters, but not here. Yeah. There may have even been an option to do right. that or not. It's, yeah. it's a good idea, though. <laughs> If you're really, really clever, you can write a make file session to buy the things that you can buy That's left as an exercise to the reader. Okay, um, this is a, uh, uh, we, we spent a lot of time talking about this, about the uh, uh, Intel hybrid OpenMP runtime environment. Um, I'm not going to be talking about hyper-threading in this talk. It was covered very well in the previous talk, and I haven't really experimented with yet, it yet, so I don't have anything intelligent to say about it. Um, as we know from the previous talk, uh, create thread affinity settings, which make a lot of sense and a very good idea performance-wise. Uh, and I, Intel's uh, runtime uh, OpenMP environment conflict because of that awful extra thread there. Uh, so you have... Uh, Two threads, in essence, settled on the uh, scheduled on the same core, and means uh, job takes twice as long as it should. So here's the current workaround, and I know this works because I've run a bunch of OpenMP benchmarks <coughs> on it. It might be there might be other things that work too. This was uh, Zheng Ji and Helen came up with this, and uh, I, I, I will get I do get the uh, appropriate speed ups for, uh, uh, for for the benchmarks when I use these things. When you have you have two uh, two uh, conditions here, you have OMP num threads less than or equal eight. In that case, you set the KMP infinity affinity to compact 
and you run with a Newman node, CC Newman node <coughs> flag. If you have greater than 8 and less than or equal 16, KMP infinity goes to scatter, and uh, uh, you use the uh, CC none uh, um, affinity flag. You, you break all affinity, right? Uh, and again, these do work. There may be other ways of doing it, but this, this will work. Compiler performance on Edison. Um, yeah, this is the last slide, but I will probably talk a little bit more than I have written up here. I have a bunch of NERSC 6 and uh, uh, NASC uh, parallel benchmarks 3.1.1 that I use to, to just sort of look at compilers and performance and such. All, perform all compilers perform produce significantly faster code on Edison compared to Hopper. When I say significantly, on the average, you get a two and a half times speed up on on Edison over Hopper, and if that holds up for uh, regular uh, codes, that will be probably the biggest jump in per processor per core performance at NERSC since uh, the acquisition of the C90 way back in the early 90s. Um, the Cray and Intel have at least on my benchmarks, which are don't use, just a couple of them even use the math libraries, have quite comparable performance, runtime performance. GNU uh, codes run on, on the average about 10% slower, but again, you can find the benchmark where GNU will beat the other two. Um, and to close up, this is going to be a very short talk um, mm -hmm. uh, to uh, compensate for the uh, previous ones. This is what I, uh, uh, using, uh, using a lot of different uh, 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 optimization <coughs> arguments on these benchmarks, I find that uh, the only one difference from Hopper uh, is Intel, which uh, the minus fast, minus no IPO, whereas uh, on Hopper, I recommend uh, not using any optimization arguments, just using the default. Cray, same as on Hopper, default, no explicit arguments. GNU, minus 03, minus fast math, again, the same as on Hopper. Um, though, oh no, I'm not going to mention that. That's not important. So, that's the end. <laughs>